Okay, so today we're gonna take our ferric chloride, which I have right here. I actually have handy wrap over this right now because we're inside and you know, we don't wanna mess with that too much. Uh we're going to uh gonna try some electroplating with ferric chloride. Try to get that uh get that copper out of there so it's usable more I guess. I don't know. So I uh, figure we'll test the connectivity of our items, like our, our stuff here first. Uh, what I'm actually going to use for our anode is this crochet hook, crochet knitting, I'm not sure it's all the same. Uh, so yeah, if we hold that on there, we got some connectivity there, plenty. Do I know what this is made out of? No, I do not. Do I recommend you do it at home? Absolutely not. Am I going to do it? Absolutely. So, now, for a penny here. Definitely got connectivity there. And, uh, I guess I'm just going to kind of shove this thing into the ferret club. We got some, yeah. Not a whole lot, but we do have some. Okay, so I actually uh, soldered on a wire to our uh, our anode here. So now we're gonna give this another shot. And I did switch them around, and I I'm using this piece of like aluminum steel alloy thing from a, it's actually one of those slots off the back of a computer. So we're going to put those in there. What I think I might actually do here is change this angle a little bit. Plug in my power supply. No fire, that's good. Take my voltage tester here, and this is direct current, by the way, so we don't know. Spin these around. Can you see kind of what we got going on? Is that 13? 13? Okay. Should be I. Uh, all right. Yeah. All right. So the ferric chloride isn't the most conductive stuff ever, but it's working. Okay, so it's actually been about a minute now. And I'm just going to pull my cathode out here. And you can definitely see that's kind of the coppery color to it there. We actually wipe it off a bit. You can kind of see, and let me get around by the camera here so I can make sure you can see it. Yeah, you can't really see, but eh, maybe you can. A little bit of reddish copper look there. Kind of hard to see, but you can, you can see it there. So the copper is actually uh, sticking to our cathode. It's not the fastest process ever, but it's actually working, which is good. It's being progressive. I'm not actually sure if as the copper goes over there and sticks to it if it's just being like re-dissolved so it's a lot slower than it potentially could be. So what you could try to do is what we're actually going to do this is a good idea. I'm going to put some baking powder in here, baking soda, baking soda and we're going to neutralize it and then we're going to uh, give it another try Okay, so I uh, used some baking soda. I neutralized this, kind of used the body of a pen to stir it, because if you don't stir it, big bubbles form, which pop and spreads the stuff all over the place, kind of shoots it. So anyways, uh, let's test real quick if it is still conductive. How electricity that is, and it is. 
is conductive here. You can already see that. And it's really thick. I had to use some water actually to uh to thin it out. Favorite substance. Water. That's the way to go, man. If you're not water, you just plain out suck. Alright, so now that we got that done, uh got our anode here. And our cap. Okay, so sorry about that. The camera died. Anyways, we got our uh, got our anode in here. Uh, and we were what was our cathode? We had this here. So I'll actually put that back on there, like so. Sure they're separate. And I'm gonna plug in my power supply. Hopefully no flames. No flames. Okay, so uh, it's been like a minute, minute, and a, half, a minute or a minute and a half now. So we're gonna take this thing out. So guess, yeah. Try to get all this stuff off. It's really actually quite thick, more like sludge than anything else. Baking soda really thickens it up. Gonna wipe it off here. See what we got. Yeah. It's definitely coating it. Uh, I'll go wash it off and show it to you. Okay, so I'm uh I'm back now and well what I got is I kinda cleaned it off and it definitely does coat it in copper, which is really interesting. Although, uh, that's just basically uh, proving the basic point when what we really wanted to know with the second one was does it does it collect it faster? And I, I think the answer to that question is yes because in about the same amount of time it must have coated it twice as much at least. So uh, I guess you're kind of countering the, uh, the acidity when it's acidic, I guess you might say. Anyways, just uh, what I kind of use just to prove that the inside of this here is not copper, and that's not what we're seeing, is I just kind of filed it off, and you can see you get that aluminum alloy back when you file it a little bit. So yeah, kind of concludes it, I guess.